Hey, this is Greg Paulson, and I want to talk to you about why I may be choosing anodized over chemfilm as a surface finish for my CNC machined parts like aluminum alloy. So with aluminum, it does corrode over time. Uh, it also is electric electrically conductive. Uh, so I may want to control this while maintaining electrical conductivity by using something like chemfilm. So what chemfilm does is it prevents corrosion. So it is a outer coating to the part. Um, and it will prevent the corrosion of that part over time. So I can install something to it, have expected properties from the material, both mechanically and from its surface, like for example, uh, dissipation. And I can really predict the lifetime value of the product there. So a little bit of a uh, chem film coating go goes a long way in helping prevent long-term corrosion and defects that can happen over time. This is also a great prep material because it does maintain a conductive surface for things like powder coating, and uh, even if I'm doing a secondary anodized step, I can actually do a chem film first and then anodize. Now, chem film does have a, an option to do a clear as well. Uh, just note it's not exactly one to one, so these are the same parts here, uh, but you do see a little bit more cloudiness on my clear chem film, and that's just natural and part of the process there. So the blue piece over here is a type two uh, anodize, and that type two anodize gives a non-conductive outer surface to the part. And I'm gonna be using this, again, to prevent conductivity as well as prevent corrosion. I can also pigment, so hence the blue color there. I got this beautiful blue x tile piece, and that, uh, that is there because I'm able to implement pigment actually into the surface slightly as I'm doing the anodization of this. More common than not, you're going to see, although I love blue, uh, you're going to see finishes like black anodized. So this is a black anodized piece, again, a type two anodized. There are also type three anodized uh, that you can get for these, uh, um, for these aluminum finishes. And those type three finishes are gonna be harder. They're actually gonna be more like a outer shell to the part, give you more durability than like say a type two anodized, anodized wood. So, when I choose these, I'm really looking for, do, do I need this to be electrically conductive? Do I not? If I don't, I'm gonna go the anodized path. If I do, I'm gonna go to a chem film path or maybe even a metal plating. If you have any more questions on finishing, let me know. I'm happy to talk about it. Thanks so much.